This is a brutally honest poem my mom wrote about what it's been like for her uh, being involuntarily committed into in and out of mental hospitals half of her life. Uh, it's not fun, okay? It hasn't happened to me, but I can imagine. Uh, it's called Story of the Mentally Ill. This is a story of the mentally ill, stuck away in hospitals against their will, beaten and abused, lost and confused, forsaken by family, God, and man, trying to survive as best as they can, trying to live week to week, uh, tears in their eyes, afraid to speak, treated mean by doctors, nurses, and patients they meet, worse than a homeless person on the street. Shunned by friends and family, they roam these halls lost and lonely, waiting for a kind word from staff or family. I know because it happened to me. <coughs> Excuse me. All they do is over-medicate. You take a pill for stress and insanity. I know because it happened to me. It doesn't matter if you have wealth. It doesn't matter if you have bad health. Rich or poor is the same, you see. All you get is a look of pity. Shunned by friends and family who just don't care when all you need is for them to be there. This is your fate if you are labeled crazy. I know because it happened to me. All of this happened to me, it's true, when you are labeled crazy in this mental zoo. I put this out on Yahoo Answers. Um, I know it's not the, the best poem in the world, but it is my mom's brutally honest poem about what it's like in there, uh, and it tells people who've never been in there and don't know. Um, and I wrote on your answers by Laura's mom, whom Laura got every speck of her talent from, September 09. Being mentally ill does not that mean that you can't be both intelligent and extremely talented, gifted, even a genius. Some of the most creatively gifted genius people alive on this planet are somewhat insane. I saw the bruises on my mom's frail body, and I later read her entire journal. Both my mother's sisters had the nerve to say to my mother and to me that my mother threw herself against a wall. This isn't what happened. I handed over to the people who investigate these types of things the entire contents of the journal my mom kept when she was recently locked up in McLean's Mental Hospital in Massachusetts. There is still surprisingly a terrible, terrible stigma on mental illness. In case anybody out there reading this is worried that Laura has somehow betrayed her mother, I have not betrayed my mom in any way. My mom asked me to put her poem out in cyberspace. Neither Laura nor her mother give one flying fuck what the rest of the so-called family thinks or wants kept quiet. God forbid you ever had to walk a mile in her shoes, ever last. My aunt, um, not Marion, the other aunt, who used to be my good friend, but Sally turned into another Auntie Marion, had the audacity to say to my mother, in response to my mother's incredible poem called Story of the Mentally Ill, um, mental hospitals are not like that. Well, guess what, world? She's never been locked up in one in one freaking fucking day of her life. And she's going to say that? Am I going to say that to somebody in a mental hospital or somebody locked up in jail? Jails don't like that. Mental hospitals don't like that, even though I've never been locked up in one at all. Uh, I hate shit like that, by the way. Uh, who, you have never been locked up in a mental hospital, uh, sarcasm intended. Who does anybody think that they are telling anybody else what they have or have not suffered in this life? Laura has never been in either jail or a mental hospital for any length of time. But would Laura ever say to a human being who had been in one of those places for any length of time, those places are not like that? How could my aunt say that to my poor mother? It blows my mind the audacity of too many people on this planet. Sarcasm intended, anger suppressed to avoid my own incarceration. Bottom line is, you don't fucking tell anybody what they have or have not suffered. You haven't spent one fucking day locked up in a mental hospital. You don't go telling somebody who shares this brutally honest poem with you that it didn't happen, that mental hospitals aren't like that, or jails aren't like that, or your life's not like that. Fuck you. I can't believe my aunt said that to my mom. My poor mom shares this poem with her sister and gets that from her. Mental hospital's not like that. You've never been in one, baby. You've never been in locked up in one, and neither have I, okay? How would we know? My mom has repeatedly. She knows you don't, so go to hell.